Great Jugglers, it's Bat here from Fiery Phoenix and today I'm going to be talking to you about um, creating the, the most usable fabric from a single shirt. Um, some people have called it deboning shirts, some people have called it stripping shirts, but either way you end up with a small pile of waste and a massive pile of usable fabric. Um, hopefully most of you know that I do an awful lot of memory keepsake items. I make um, bears, I make patchwork bags, I make cushion covers, um, I make quilts, I make coats, I make all sorts of clothing out of the uh, upcycled and reused items and this week I'm working on some some bears, some, some memory bears and so I thought it would be a perfect time to show you how to strip all the fabric out of a regular shirt. Um, but first, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who has taken the time to subscribe to the channel. It's wonderful. I can't believe that so many of you have taken the time. There's nearly a hundred of you that have um, have shown an interest in the channel. So thank you very, very much for that. That's amazing. Um, please keep liking, watching and sharing. Uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm coming up with things that are useful for you. It certainly seems to be the feedback, which is wonderful. And if you've got any suggestions... Um, please get in touch, leave a message in the comments below. Just let me know what other things you want me to add to the recording schedule. I've currently got over 60 videos planned um, and that doesn't really include any major makes. I'm also thinking of doing a, a live sew along session so I don't know if anybody would be interested in that. So just give me some feedback and let me know. Uh, anyway, on to the deboning of the shirt. Now I've already got a tutorial on my website. I'll put a link to that in the description box below on walking you through step by step what's going to happen. I'm not going to talk my way through the video, I'm just going to get my head down and get on with cutting through the fabric for you, just so that you can see the process in action. But there's a detailed step by step walkthrough um, written down there for you. Um, if you've got any questions or queries about how to do this process, please let me know, uh, leave comments and uh, I'll get cracking.
we have a completely stripped shirt. Uh, <coughs> awful lot more fabric in a shirt than you could begin to imagine. And if all you do is cut pieces out of it randomly, you're not going to get the best use of fabric, of pattern. Um, you know, and even these teeny tiny pieces, you can use somewhere. You know, for ears, for an accent, for a patch. Everything can work if you're making a recycled pair, if you're making a recycled blanket. Um, I really like using the rip method because not only is it fast, but it means that you then have true grain lines again, um, rather than, than the wonkiness. So you can leave the bottom of the sleeves, you can cut them, slice them, or you can just snip and rip, which means you do have a true edge left. Uh, you know, that is a straight line. Well, I hope this demonstration is useful. Um, you know, as you can see, the amount of scrap that there is left over, I've been quite lazy by not cutting around that, um, just to give a true straight line. Um, so this is the example of the bottom of the shirt, taking the curve away. Um, I could have saved that, I could have used that for something else, but uh, it's, it's not going to be useful for this particular project. I don't reuse customers' um, materials for, for different projects. I'm always very careful to keep um, customers' memory items all together. So this one has been made for made at 94, a lovely shop in Lee. And, um, and there's, there's two shirts that are going to be, this one's already been stripped down, that are going to be used to create a, a memory a memory item, a keepsake there. And um, we now have a whole host of buttons, a whole selection of fabrics, and even some extra unexpected pieces that we can use as contrast, which is wonderful. But that's how you strip down a shirt, and I hope it's been of use to you. See you later. Bye. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, please can you like the video and maybe even subscribe to the channel. You can find all my contact details at the end of the video, and I hope to hear from you soon. If you have any comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please just leave a comment below. Speak to you later. Bye.